videos. It's been a while since I've made a video just sitting down talking to you. I've not really been posting videos for the past month. I think May is just kind of a write-off month for me right now with YouTube, with just everything. If you do follow me on Twitter, you probably know a little bit about what's going on. I just feel like at the moment my life has been turned upside down. I never thought I'd really have to make a kind of video like this. I mean, it's not like I just feel like I need to address some things and give you like a little life update with things which are going on with me, why I've not been posting videos and what is coming for the future. You might have already seen on Twitter, but me and Craig are no longer together. It feels really weird saying that because like we have been together for the majority of my adult life. We were together for over five and a half years and even Disney, he was a big part of my Disney life as well. So it is a big adjustment and there's a lot changing in my life in a very short amount of time. I have to move back to my parents' house because you know the flat here that we've got, I can't afford it by myself. So I'm having to move back to Liverpool to my parents' house. I'm having to find a new job because I changed jobs. I moved down to Wales with my job so that I could move to Chester. And so I'm going to have to find a new job at the moment. Luckily, my manager is really understanding. Because I'm going to be commuting down, it's about an hour's drive. But during rush hour, of course, that's going to take forever. So she's been really helpful in making sure that I can still work and still get to work. But it's not going to be me sitting in traffic for hours on end. So I'm really grateful and I'm really lucky that I have a really understanding manager. You know, for the first week, I wasn't okay. I was far from okay, but I think now I, I kind of am okay. It's just more of like a big adjustment. It's more of a shock because it happens so suddenly. It's nothing anyone has done. It's nothing I've done. It's nothing what Craig has done. It's just sometimes these things happen. I think that's more the reason why I've just been so overwhelmed with everything because it has all come at once. You know, having to look for a new job now, having to move back, give up the flat. A five and a half year relationship has just ended. Of course, that also means that I won't be going to Disney World in September. I think that's one of the things that actually hit me the hardest. Like I've been looking forward to that trip for so long. I had everything booked. I had all my ADRs booked. It just hit me. The fact that I've been waiting a year for this trip, it was gonna be my dream trip. It was gonna be our dream trip. And then suddenly it's just not there anymore. It's just gone and I know it sounds really silly letting that hit me the hardest but if you love Disney you just understand like what it's like. I don't think I've still not fully accepted what's happened and I still because you know this has been my life since I was you know 18. We've been together for the majority of my ad well we've been together for my whole adult life so I still can't really accept it. You know and as I said it's nothing anyone's done it's just sometimes things work out this way and that is okay and I will be okay in the future and I will get over it in the future. You know, I'm okay now, like I feel okay now. I can start to move on with my life. Even though some things are pretty shit, I've still got things to look forward to. Which leads me on to my announcement. So because I had already paid the flights off for September's trip, the non-refundable or the Thomas Cook flights were non-refundable. You know, I was thinking what I should do at first and how I could not lose the money or you know, I don't think I'd be able to go on that trip. Like, I toyed around with asking someone else to come with me on that trip, but I just wouldn't be able to do that because that was supposed to be mine and Craig's trip. That was going to be our trip. And just having someone else there, I think it would just make me upset. I just don't think I'd be able to go on that trip. You know, I spoke to some other friends, I spoke to my parents, toyed around with the idea of just changing the flights to somewhere else. And straight away, my two best friends were just like, I'm in. I don't think I'd have been able to get through the last month without the support of my friends, without the support of all my online friends, my Disney friends, my friends that I know in real life, my work friends, my family. Just everyone has just been so supportive and I seriously just appreciate it so much. For everyone who's tweeted me, who's messaged me, everything, I really do appreciate it and it does cheer you up and it just makes you feel not as not as alone because I think that's the biggest thing that I was worried about being with him for so long like I was worried about just feeling alone but I don't I've got such a great support system around me and I am just so thankful for that anyway back to the flights so I was toying around with this idea of going somewhere else when my two best friends were like yeah let's do it then we booked a trip to Disneyland in California luckily I was able to change the flights so I had two seat or two flights booked or two seats booked for a return journey to Orlando. So luckily I managed to phone up Thomas Cook, talk to them, and luckily I managed to change 
the two flights to from Orlando to California and because their system was down it ended up where they had to refund me the money and then I just rebooked the flights so I didn't end up paying any fees or anything on it which was a massive bonus so after that my other friend who's coming with me booked her flight so now I am going to the original Disney with my two favorite people in the whole world you will have already seen Haley and Rachel in vlogs because we met in Disney World they were my ICP roommates so I lived with Haley and Rachel during my college program and we met through Disney like we found each other because of our love for Disney of our love for the Disney parks so being able to visit the first Disney the place where Walt walked the place that Walt dreamed the place that Walt made then it's just unbelievable, like, it's just magical and it's just unbelievable. I can't believe I'm actually going back to Disney with both of them. Been to Disneyland Paris with Rachel before, but Haley's never been with us. So being able to go there just with both of them and all of us back together again is just absolutely amazing. And I'm so freaking excited for it. We will be going on October 22nd until October 29th. So we're there just before Halloween, so it's going to be all Halloween themed and it's going to be amazing. We're only going for a week because Haley's a primary school teacher, so she can only get half terms off. So we will be spending an evening and three full days in Disneyland. We will be spending a day in Universal Studios, and then we will also be spending two and a half days around Los Angeles. So we're going to go to Santa Monica, we're going to go Hollywood, Walk of Fame, all of that kind of stuff. So it's just going to be an amazing trip, and I love California, and I'm just so excited to go back again. And it's just crazy, I'm in all, and I'm just loving it, and yay, <laughs> going back to Disneyland. <laughs> Now I don't just have one trip announcement, I actually have two trip announcements. So about two or three weeks ago now, I got a message on Facebook from two of my YouTube friends asking did I want to come to Disney World in March because they'd found a really good deal. And straight away I was like, yeah, let's go to Disney World, sod it. So now we're booked to go to Disney World March the 1st, 2017 for two weeks, staying in Old Key West with the dining plan and just the whole shebang. You'll already know these YouTubers because they're amazing and the fabulous and it is Sam from Sam for God and Rebecca from Rebecca Phillips 94. Now their friend Joe is also coming with us and he also has a YouTube channel so I'm going to leave links down below to their three channels and it's just going to be an absolutely amazing trip. It's Joe's first time to Disney World and you've probably already seen how fanatic Sam and Rebecca are about Disney so it's just going to be fabulous and we're going to do so many things and it's going to be amazing and it's just going to be blog it's just going to be vlog central as well because <laughs> four vloggers going to Disney World <laughs> it's just going to be cameras everywhere it's going to be so good. I won't have people being like put the camera away shut up because like every time I've been on Disney trips I've always had people just kind of like stop filming me because I always film people seem to film people at really inappropriate moments like when they're eating food or you know <laughs> anyway it's gonna be so exciting and I just can't wait and it's gonna be an experience as well flying from London because I've always flown from Manchester so I'm probably gonna go down the night before stay in a hotel start the holiday a bit early so it's just really exciting and I'm really excited for my upcoming trips and even though they're further away than it was gonna be in Disney World and even though things haven't worked out the way I planned. There's always a silver lining, there's always something which can make everything better and people might think I'm stupid for booking all these Disney trips but you know it makes me happy. A little bit of magic is just what I need in my life right now. What else is new? Um, I bought a car, I bought my first car. <laughs> because I'm going to be commuting to Wales from Liverpool I bought a car because I need one and it's cute and it's a Fiat 500 and it's a white Fiat 500 and it is called Maximus after Flynn Rider's horse because I'm that awesome. <laughs> so you know it's not all bad even though some things in my life aren't going the way I planned right now and even though things have been a little bit shit things are getting better and things are looking up and I guess this video was just kind of, I don't know, I just feel like I just wanted to let people know what's going on and you know I love making YouTube videos and I love making Disney YouTube videos, it's such a big part of my life. I don't ever feel like it's a chore, it's always fun and it's just a hobby that I really love and enjoy and I just feel like I needed to share all of this with you. You know I appreciate everyone who subscribes, comments, likes all my videos, tweets me everything and I just appreciate everyone and I just want to let you all know that I've not disappeared I'm still here I'm still gonna be here for a very long time I have so many ideas in the works I've got loads of vlogs still to you can expect to see my Disneyland Paris February trip footage coming up soon I filmed a lot there so there's a lot of that footage coming up I think that's all I've got to say for today so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing just thank you for being here and you know 
liking my videos. I mean, to me, it's just mad that all of you guys just wanna sit and watch me ramble about Disney all day or watch me talk into a camera in Disney World and I don't know, it's just crazy. Thank you for all your support and you know, thank you everyone for all your tweets of support and everything while I've been going through shit the last month. I love you all and I shall see you all real soon. Bye.